Hello folks, how's everybody doing tonight? It's Matt from Humby's Hive. Um, I'm gonna be cutting on the scroll saw tonight. I, since St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, I figured maybe try a, a Celtic knot. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever uh, cut one of these out. It looked pretty neat. Here's the design I'm, gonna I'm going to be cutting. Um, I've gone ahead and labeled all my pieces, so easy to uh, reassemble. Taking this is going to be my backer board. I'm going to cut this out and then I've just traced where all the pieces are going to go. So I'm going to be able to put those on uh, hopefully a lot easier than in the past. So um, let's get started. If you have any questions, please feel free. I'm using the modified geometry number three blade tonight. So this is going to be my backer and I use some carbon paper to trace where all the pieces are going to go where I numbered and labeled everything. So just uh, it should be hopefully easier when I go to glue everything up and put everything down. So these are the pieces I'm going to be cutting out. I think this is like a quarter inch plywood, just a piece of scrap I had laying around. This is uh, backers half inch plywood. Uh, I may stain them. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is take the rotary tool and round these over. With carbon paper, I traced all the numbers on here. And then I simply will take this piece and mark the back just so I don't forget where it's gonna go or what number it is. And we're gonna place it on there. We're gonna glue it on there, but we're going to use a rotary tool just to clean them up a little bit. Give it a little bit different texture. Here's another piece. making sure to mark the back of these as I peel the paper off. So there, you can kind of see that. These are gonna be our three-dimensional knot that we're cutting out. This is our first piece we cut. I'll sand them all down. Like I said, use a rotary tool to, to round the edges a little bit. Um, I think they'll, they'll fit together really, really cool in that way. Um, if I'm gonna butt these up to one another or not, or leave the gap, probably leave the gap, but I'll mess around with that later. 
Probably should have cut them different if I was going to butt them up to one another. But oh well. So, that's the idea. Alright, that was the last piece. So here is our Celtic knot with our pieces laid out on top. We'll go ahead and lay out the rest of them, get a better idea of what it's going to look like. And we do have a few minutes so I possibly can get the rotary tool over and start shaping some of these. So that's with it all laid out roughly. So that's just one section. You can see the difference of here. So I just lightly went over that. You'll probably go down a couple.
couple grits, uh, make that a little bit nicer um, compared to this side over here. So that's what we're uh, that's what we worked on tonight. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, hopefully I will uh, get this wrapped up and then uh, post a couple pictures. And I uh, thank everybody for, for tuning in tonight. All right, you guys have a great night. Bye.